I'm on that good cushion alcohol. I got some damn bitches I can call. Hey, what is going on, guys? T Dot Sports 15 here, and today we have the longly anticipated um, Madden owner mode with the Miami Dolphins. So um, I actually went in depth with a lot of stuff in this episode. It ended up being like eight and a half minutes. Um, this whole, all this stuff here took about um, 20 minutes or half an hour, something like that. But uh, the just edited down version, I cut it up and it's about eight and a half minutes, um, as you guys can probably tell. So we're doing an owner mode, not a connected franchise coach or whatever. Um, and I had to decide between a former player, lifelong fan, or um, financial mogul. Um, and each one had different perks and stuff. Like one had your fans are very happy. One had your um, your players were really happy and uh, financial mogul has like you get a lot more money um, in funds to start off with so I went with financial mogul just because you know never hurts to have too much money um, and the team we obviously go with is the Miami Dolphins I went the exact wrong way around this thing um, and it was one of the last ones but uh, one really interesting thing is that Cameron Wake um, the Dolphins right end um, he is a 99 overall I really wasn't expecting that but that's a positive surprise that's something good um, and there's a few things I want to go over regarding the depth chart and how things are gonna play out um, and I need your guys input on some stuff but I'll get to that later um, you get to actually create your owner's name and like see what they look like um, my guy is happy Gilmore just because I really couldn't think of anything else and uh, that's just what I decided to do um, and if you guys haven't checked out my other series that I started up today as well it is a halfback um, connected franchise mode um, with Terrell Davis um, and he's like a recreated player so go check that out on my channel um, you can check that out also subscribe if you are new because I know there's gonna be some new guys coming in here uh, just because Madden has just come out and stuff um, and I'm trying to get uh, some more gameplay up as soon as possible so you can check out all this stuff here and I just want to talk about um, how like the position battles are gonna turn out and stuff so I'm um, pretty much I'm 100% that Ryan Tannehill is going to be our starting quarterback for at least the first season. Um, we'll see if there's somebody we could draft maybe. I'm not sure. But I really like Ryan Tannehill and uh, hopefully we can improve him quite a bit and uh, get him up to like 85, 90, something like that. Because I think he has that kind of potential and uh, like in real life I think he has that kind of potential. Obviously a biased opinion from a Miami Dolphins fan but uh, hope you guys understand that. So. Um, some other things we have, most of our positions are set on like offensive line, defensive line, defensive secondary, um, we have a good punter, kicker, everything's set there. Um, we have a really good wide receiver in Mike Wallace um, in real life. People have said he's selfish or whatever, but uh, in this game that obviously doesn't matter, so he's going to be sticking around here for a long time. Um, hopefully he can be here for the entire owner mode. He's like probably going to be one of my fa favorite players on the Dolphins this year um, because I watch every single Dolphins game for like the last five se five years or whatever. Um, so you can see um, all this stuff here. We are playing on all Madden seven minute quarters um, and that's pretty much it um, for that kind of stuff. Um, other than that, um, getting into more position battle stuff, we have a very good um, wide receiver in Mike Wallace as I just stated. But um, other than that, we really don't have that many good wide receivers. We have Brian Hartline. Um, I do actually show my full depth chart every single position um, in just like a couple minutes here but um so i might want to get a second receiver um either by trade or by um going into free agency um we don't have that much um cap room we have financial funds uh, because of our owner but uh we don't have that much cap room because there is a, a league cap um so we, we do have a limitation on who we can get in free agency um and i was thinking of picking up randy moss um, he, I do go show you guys all the uh, free agents at the very end. You guys can look at that and give me some suggestions on who I should scoop up. But uh, yeah, we have um, Randy Moss is out there. Um, I think he would be a good number two receiver. He's 85 overall. Um, he'd slip, he'd slot right in there perfectly in that number two spot. Um, we could also go for like a Terrell Owens. 
um, if you guys want to save some more cap. Um, and that's pretty much, we just need like, one more receiver and I think we'll be set for the receiver position. If you guys don't want me to go that route, um, I could be going in within a trade and you guys can give me some suggestions of where I should go to get offer trades or something I really like Danny Amendola but that would be an in-division trade so I don't think that would be good um, because I'm looking for a guy that's like 80 to 85 I'm not sure what Amendola is in this game but uh, don't want to do in-division trades because those rarely happen and I want it to be realistic uh, so if you guys have any suggestions on who I should trade for or who I should sign um, you guys can have a look at all the free agents um, at the end of the video um, and the biggest position battle um, or something that we can go out and get is going to be the halfback position. You can see our uh, our depth chart right here. You can see the halfbacks right here. We have um, Daniel Tom Thomas, Lamar Miller, and um, Marcus Thigpen. Three guys that are like 70 to 75, I think. And they're not that good, all of them. None of them are good. And we really need to uh, either commit to one guy, play him, and um, try and develop him. Or we can go out, sign a free agent, and then um, just on a one-year deal or something, and then try and draft one at the draft or something. So um, suggestions on that. There is some uh, free agents in the free agency pool that are um, like 85 overall or something um halfbacks you can check out the uh free agency list i forget who was in there but so you guys can look at that after so if you guys see somebody in the free agency that you guys think i should go and get uh for the halfback position let me know about that or i could also go trade for somebody but uh i i'm probably not going to be sticking with the three guys that are right there um it's going to be either one of them that we're going to like really commit to um or get a free agent and then try and uh, draft somebody at the draft with our like first round pick uh, so you can see all of our positions right here we have a pretty good team I really think that um, we could go out and sign a somebody for our secondary because uh, that could use some help we could use another cornerback there but uh, we have two pretty good ones um, one's an 81 I think so uh, if you guys see any holes or whatever just let me know and uh, I'll go have a look in free agency um, if you guys it's gonna be a lot of suggestions for like the preseason um, another thing is do you guys want me to show you the preseason if I do I'm gonna do like two weeks in in each episode so it'll just be two episodes for the preseason um, unless you guys just want me to play it off camera and then just uh, update you guys how we did and stuff so we're coming to the end of the depth charts here um, and the free agency pool is gonna come up in just a second um, you can check out our all that stuff so that's pretty much it for the depth chart and now we're gonna get into to the um, free agents so you can check out all the free agents like 80 plus so there's like Vontae Leach probably we're not gonna go for him but uh, like the top halfback will be coming up in a second and it is Michael Turner he's somebody we might want to go for or Willis McGahee also um, in your opinions um, drop down in there that uh, which like if there's a position that uh, we need that has uh, somebody that's not asking for that much salary that would be good um, so that's pretty much it for this video guys hopefully you did enjoy and I will see you guys in the